All right, let's uh, let's have a little conversation about this engine stand from Hard Freight Tools. Uh, we're gonna do a little review here and talk to you guys about what I'm finding and what I saw in the other ones that you might, you know, if you're looking to buy one of these, you might decide, you know, on this one versus they have three of them. They have the folding one, the uh, one with uh, three wheels, and then they have this one. So this is the reason that I got this one over the folding one and the other one. It's not just the price. Um, the folding one's a lot more money. So one of the things you might be concerned about is having this thing sitting in your shop um, so and, and being in the way when you're not using it. That, that's one of my concerns too. Um, but I'm going to show you real quick something that I noticed on here that I didn't even notice when I bought it. But um, it actually is pretty cool. What it has is, is it has this leg here. If you can see, this part just slides in and out. Okay. And then there's a set screw underneath here that's threaded. So it's like this. Okay. The, the nut's welded on there, and you just put a bolt in. And what this does is you tighten this down, and then that keeps this leg in the middle from moving. It's going to get it threaded on here so I can back up. Uh, so, so it keeps this leg in here from sliding in and out, so you just tighten that up. So the cool thing is with this, uh, this one here is you can actually... Slide that leg out and say put a zip tie on here and zip tie it to it and then it basically takes up none of your space. So you could actually just zip tie the thing on the side, have the leg off of it and hang it somewhere and then it's out of your way and it's not taking up any floor space. So that is not bad. That is actually to me just as good as the folding one and a lot better. Now one of the issues I've always had with the old engine stands I've had before um, and I don't have any of them anymore. I think I gave them away many years ago when I didn't need them because, again, they were taking up space in the shop, is they have the kind with they have three wheels. They have one here, one in the middle here, and one over there. And I've actually had engines when I was tipping them over that um, if you bumped in that engine, you might knock it over because it's only on three legs. So having it on four legs is definitely a plus. So, uh, you know, if you find the coupon for this one, I found a coupon on a Harbor Freight. Uh, if you look up Harbor Freight free on your phone, there's a one that goes like HBQDBF or something like that. It's that website. And look on there for engine, you know, search the website for engine. You can do this right from your phone in the store. And you'll find engine, you know, you might find a coupon. And I found one for $47.99, so it was actually less money. Than the one with the three wheels so the cool thing is this thing slides out okay remember this part slides out you can zip tie it to the side of it store it that way so you don't have any you know, your space being taken up um, the it has the four wheels so you have all four wheels and they seem to be pretty well built um, they're all steel so there's no plastic on the wheels that's another issue if you have plastic on the wheels you know then the, they might with that weight on there it might collapse or wear out. Um, these are all steel. Um, the only thing that I would be nice if the wheels were a little bit taller, so it'd be easier to roll. Um, when you have taller wheels, it'd be much easier to roll. That would be nice, but they don't have that. Um, and for the money, you know, you really can't go wrong. It comes with a little handle. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't find that really necessary. I usually can just grab the block and twist it. So it comes with a handle for that. You know, it seems like that's kind of a waste. But um, it does come with it, and it comes with all the parts here. So if you have to have it shipped anywhere, that's what it comes with. It does not come with any of the engine bolts, so you have to provide those yourself. Uh, we're actually going to put a Volkswagen uh, engine stand I had for years on weld it to the top of this, this style right here. We're going to weld that right to the top, and then uh, that way we can put Volkswagen engine on it and then change it over to V8s, whatever and use it that way. So anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.